Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here. And in today's video, I have got four autographs through the mail TTMs. I'm going to open up a pack of 2023 Bowman, the first of the first of this box. And I'm also going to show you a Facebook purchase that I made over the weekend. As always, we'll start with some TTMs. The first one is from Dallas, Texas. And we have got George Wright. He signed three of three in 13 days. He had a career batting average of 245 with 42 home runs, 208 RBIs. He played five years. He appeared in 627 games. He played from 82 to 86. And he played with Texas and Montreal. His best season was in 1983 when he hit 18 home runs, knocked in 80, batted 276, and he also stole a career high eight bases that year. And he finished 24th in the MVP voting. And then after that, his career completely fell off. Like I said, he hit 18 that year. The next year, he hit nine. And then the years after that, he had, you know, a couple here, a couple there, and that was it. And it was George Wright. All right, our next return is from South Jersey, New Jersey. And we have got Terry Harmon. He signed 404 in 38 days. He had a career batting average of 233 with four home runs. 72 RBIs. He played 10 years, appeared in 547 games. He played from 67 to 77, and he spent his entire career with the Philadelphia Phillies. Terry Harmon. All right, our third return is from Grand Junction, Colorado. And we have got a football return. We have got Paul Gruber. He signed 404 in 14 days. Uh, during his career, he played left offensive tackle. He played 12 years. He appeared in 183 games. He started every game he played. Um, he played from 88 to, 90 to, to 88 to 99. He spent his entire career with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he is also in the Buccaneers Ring of Honor. Again, that is Paul Gruber. And right now I'm going to pause this video. And I'm going to show you the uh, Facebook purchase that I made on Marketplace. All right, so I need to show you a purchase that I made on Facebook Marketplace. So I saw this um, this ad. <laughs> this guy was selling blaster boxes for ten bucks a piece. He said he had twelve of them. He was selling them ten bucks a piece, or you could buy all twelve for a hundred. And so I immediately messaged him. I said, "Hey." I want all 12, I'll give you a hundred bucks. And this was on June 22nd. And then he just stopped talking or, you know, stopped messaging me. And then on July 2nd, I sent him a message. Hey, are they still available? And again, I didn't hear anything. And then this past weekend on Saturday, the 29th, I was just scrolling through my phone and I, and I saw, you know, that message. And so I messaged him again. I said, hey, are these still available? And he said, yes. 
He's like, can you get them today? And I said, absolutely, I can get them today. And so uh, we, agree, we agreed to meet at 3 o'clock. And the whole way there is like, it's like a 45-minute difference between me and him. So we met like halfway. And the whole way there, I'm thinking, this is too good to be true. This guy's going to ghost me or I'm going to come here all, you know, for nothing. But I went. And we were supposed to meet at 3, like I said. And it was like 3.10. And he says, hey, I'm not going to be able to meet you. Um, I'm going to send my my wife's going to be there instead. And I said, okay. So I meet her, and she pulls up, and I was very surprised. And she comes out with this big old Walmart bag full of cards. And I'm going to show you what I got. I got, I got that blaster. That blaster. That blaster. Now again, I paid $100. For all these. This is crazy. That right there is nine blasters. Still sealed and everything. And then the wife's like, um, yeah, the other three boxes are a little different because they're a little bigger. But, you know, they're the same price. And out comes a mega box. And another mega box. And a third mega box. So I got nine blasters, three mega boxes, and I spent a total of $100. That's crazy. These cards have have to be stolen I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna open the three blaster or the three mega boxes and then the other nine I have no idea what we're gonna do with them um, so if you're interested in some let me know because as of right now I don't know what I'm gonna do with those nine blasters that's just way too many series two to open and with the way I open, you know, one pack of video, that would take me forever to open all those. So I wanted, I couldn't wait to to share this with you guys. And uh, I open these mega boxes. Hopefully, they're uh, loaded with some goodness. All right, and we are back. That was pretty amazing. I'd, I'd have to say. That was a deal of a lifetime right there when it comes to cards. All right, before we get to our last return, I'm going to open up this pack of 20, 23 Bowman. I did buy another box of these a while ago. I bought it the same time I did the Heritage box. And I've been waiting to show it or open it. And here we go. Jason or Jacob DeGrom, Nick Prado. Miguel Cabrera, Oscar Gonzalez. I think we've opened, showed all of these cards on the channel before. We got Jordan Waller. We have Iafri Solano. Jackson Holiday. That it, man, right there is a stud. He is an absolute stud for the Orioles. He started the season in single A. Or low A, tore it up. They promoted him to high A. He tore that leg up. Now he's in double A. He's only 19 years old. And he is tearing that leg up. Kevin Parada. And Yasser Mercedes. So we did get a sweet Jackson Holiday. All right, our last return. Is from Phoenix, Arizona. We have got Brett Butler. He signed five of five in 277 days. He had a career batting average of 290 with 54 home runs, 578 RBIs. 
He also had 558 stolen bases. He played 17 years. He appeared in 2,213 games. He played from 81 to 97. He played with Atlanta, Cleveland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and the Mets. He was an All-Star in 1991. Um, six times he finished in the top 24 in the MVP voting. He led the, league, led the league in runs scored two times. He led the league in hits one year. He led the league in triples four times. He led the league in walks once. Sacrifice hits once. And six times during his career, he batted over 300. There's Brett Butler. I was always a fan of Brett Butler. I can remember playing in the backyard, playing baseball in the backyard, and imitating Brett Butler's stance and laying down drag bunts. I mean, he he has got to be the best bunter I've I've ever seen. Um, and when I think of Brett Butler, that's what I think of him him laying down drag bunts and sacrifice bunts and just being the a stud of a leadoff man. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.